the Clinton email scandal, as I say, is back in court. Uh, our, we were granted, those of you who don't, uh, who don't follow us, we were recently granted additional discovery, which means we can take evidence, get documentary evidence, documents, and take witness testimony under oath about the Clinton email issue because the court wants to know whether Hillary Clinton was trying to uh, evade the FOIA law by using her email system, whether uh, the State Department was trying to game the court by trying to shut the case down before uh, they had to give up the emails and tell anyone about it, and whether the, uh, the emails generally, um, whether they are other emails out there that can be found that should be searched as required under FOIA. Now, this is a case about Benghazi and under which all of this arises, over, uh, through which all of this arises. And so Benghazi's tied up in this too, and the court asked, well, were they worried about what was in those emails as it relates to Benghazi? Is that why they didn't want us to know about it? All of this is being subject to scrutiny uh, by Judicial Watch, and we've uncovered so much as a result of a prior court ruling granting us discovery, so much so that the court in granting us the additional discovery said, you know, there are a lot of additional questions here. And he wanted to know what the heck is going on here with the State Department and its cover-up and its activities that we uncovered. And the Justice Department. We found out the Obama White House was covering it up. And it's, it's now at the point where the judge is willing to consider whether to let us depose Hillary Clinton in court, under oath in person. We've already asked her questions under oath written through written format, interrogatories. She's responded to them in writing under oath, but as you might imagine, you don't get much information, you don't get a chance to cross-examine or uh, probe further these answers. So Mrs. Clinton has, the court gave her 30 days to oppose our efforts to depose her. Those 30 days run on Monday. So if you're seeing this on Friday, it's on Monday. If you're seeing it on Monday, today, it's today. And then we have, I think, 10 days to respond to Mrs. Clinton. And also Cheryl Mills, her chief of staff at the State Department, who the evidence shows was deeply in involved in the email cover-up. So again, this is, this is just one group, little old Judicial Watch, doing all this heavy lifting that Congress refuses to do, the Justice Department refuses to do, the media refuses to do. And... Um, it wouldn't happen but for Judicial Watch. It's kind of scary, isn't it, folks? Really scary.